Hello, everybody. I'm the fucking bear. Uh, and I just remembered what I got to do. Now I don't want to play anymore. I didn't edit the last session yet, but I figured I done gone and made plenty of room, so I still got me 300 gigs free. Uh, I was going to edit and render that stuff last night, but it had been a really hot day, and my computer was getting hot, and I didn't want to overheat it more with all the rendering. So I figured I'd let it rest for a day. And then today isn't as bad as it was yesterday. So I figured I'd play. And then I'll set shit to render overnight. It's Monday right now. Apparently everyone and their mother is losing their shit over this solar eclipse that's gonna happen, and I really couldn't care less. <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm the one person on the face of the planet that doesn't give a shit about the eclipse. And I, the, the annoying thing about it is that when I tell people I don't care about the Eclipse, they always act like I'm like some heartless bastard that wouldn't know true beauty. I wouldn't know the beauty. I just don't, I don't care about the sun. That's what it comes down to. The only thing I like about the Eclipse is it hides the sun for a while. I don't like the sun. Uh, the people that would get on my case about not realizing how beautiful the eclipse is are the what are you doing can you please come over here because i don't want to deal with you and your fuck buddy over there oh up the butt i'm your fuck buddy now Anyway, the people that will get on my case about not knowing how beautiful the eclipse is are the same people that don't seem to realize how beautiful foggy overcast days are, so. You know, people that got a fucking crippling sun fetish. Yeah, just know something about me. If you are incapable of realizing how beautiful fog and overcast skies are, I don't like you. Okay, I don't like you. And the sad thing is, uh, whenever I tell people how much I love foggy days and rainy days and overcast skies, they think I'm some emo that's going to be like leaning against my window crying during it. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. I truly, honestly, aesthetically find it beautiful. Not in a sad, oh, it matches the depressing nature of my soul kind of way. I, I think it's fucking beautiful. Such a soft... That, 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 that's, that's the word. I don't even have to go further. It's soft. That's the word to describe it. It's not even remotely accurate, and that's the word I'm using. It's not... I'll put it like this. It's, it's a kind of beauty that's not in your face the way a lot of other kinds of weather are. Like, a lot of the other kinds of weather people say is beautiful. It's not in your face. Like, people say, oh, fall is beautiful because of the leaves. And, yeah, I agree. Uh, people say, oh, sunny days are beautiful. I disagree. Uh, but... You know, those are all in your face. But when it's foggy, it's so gentle. I like gentle beauty. I've I've always been that way. I like gentle beauty more more than the kind of more in your face kind of beauty. Alright, welcome to Blight Town, bitches. Now my last experience with this place was horrible. Um I'm already getting my frame hitches, so that's good to know. Key to new Londo ruins. Key to new Londo ruins. Continue. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. We are officially done with Blight Town for now. I hope you all enjoyed your stay. Because I, I honestly think this is the key to that gate that has that thing I can turn. Mm. 
Now, I am aware that some of the more experienced soldiers um, are probably yelling at me right now. Saying, you can't do it yet, man. You can't do it yet, man. You, you, you can't do it yet. I'm aware. I only played this game once, but I am aware that I cannot currently fight the boss of this level until I get the uh, King Ring thing, Majigger. Or whatever it's called. Because I gotta fall down a big old happy pit and fight, probably, in my opinion, one of the most annoying bosses of this game. Alright, let's use our transparent, transient, whatever. My, uh, transubstantiation curse. What does that word mean? I always say transubstantiation when I'm giving examples of really, really big words. And I don't even know what it means. <laughs> it is a word, right? I think it is. I've probably made that joke like 50 times in my Let's Play career. Can't think of any other big words that starts that way. Trans... Trans... Uh, trans... Transatlantic? Uh... Trans... Transgender curse? That would be a strange curse. I've gotten the transgender curse. I'm starting to feel fabulous. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this. If you can't handle that, get the fuck off my channel. Um, I've said this before. Uh... I am a man without a country. I said this in my uh, one of my uh, Half-Life videos. Um, I support transgender rights. I support pretty much everything you can support. I just like jokes. <laughs> that's that's my that's where I stand. And if if you have a problem with that, I'm I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not. That's where I stand on those things. I support rights. I just also support being funny. <laughs> Oh. I don't really I feel like this but my mind when it comes to social issues is equal parts not giving a fuck and giving all the fucks does that make any sense like I could not ever understand why people gave a shit if gays wanted to get married it never it never my brain could never process why people gave a shit um i've never understood how people can give a shit about the happiness of people that don't affect them in the least and all the same i i support transgender people i don't i don't fucking care what they want to do uh but at the same time when it comes to actually like rallying and you know fighting for it I, i'm I, I don't care <laughs> i'm lazy <laughs> maybe that's what it is maybe it's just because i'm lazy but like like I'll, I'll sign your petition and stuff but you asked me to like hold a sign out in front of a place for something i'm like i i don't want to go to bed <laughs> leave me alone i want to go to bed I know some people might say that if I'm not actively fighting for blah blah blah, then I don't really support it. If that's the way you want to see it, that, I, I, that's fine. See it how you want. Um, I think you should just be happy. You know, you know, pick your battles. Be happy that look at the fact that I'm not someone that's actively against something, and you know, be happy for that. Stop stabbing me. I want these. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They're assholes. Now, where was this place? I want to feel like it was around here. Yeah, it was in here. The one thing that annoys me 
when it comes to transgender people. <laughs> this is this is ah, oh, it's not it. That's that's not it. For bars between. How much easier would my life be if I had just fucking read that? If I had just fucking read the description of the fucking item. Anyway, uh, the one thing that annoys me is that when uh, someone comes out as transgender, we're supposed to say they're beautiful. And that's the part that bothers me because here's the thing a lot of them look like dudes. <laughs> For. Obvious reasons. Um, and I'm going to actually uh, make a bold statement here. Okay? And I'm going to say people's insistence that we always see them as beautiful is actually more bigoted um, than what they're trying to fight against. And here's why I feel that way. You're reducing them to their gender, okay? Even though you're accepting that they aren't the gender they were born as, you're still reducing them to it. You know what I'm saying? You're by you're basically saying that now that they identify as a woman, that's all they are as a woman. Um, I don't think physical attraction should be limited to those things. Just like there are several guys I find attractive, and I don't even consider myself gay or anything. Uh. You know, there are women I don't find attractive. And by that very nature, if I see a transgender person and they have physical traits that I don't find attractive, I don't owe it to anyone to override that and say, no, they're hot. No, I don't I don't owe them shit. Um I'm not gonna say they're ugly or anything, but I think that it's actually my opinion that um, I don't want to be running around in circles like I always do, so I need to think. Fuck, I guess I'll just go with my original plan and go to fucking Blight Town. Don't want to, but that's what I'm going to do. Um, it's actually my opinion, and I get the reasons why this wouldn't work out, but it's my opinion that in a perfect world, gender would have nothing to do with who you fall in love with. You would just meet people get along with them and if that friendship reached a certain level there'd be love i i think that in a perfect world sexual orientation wouldn't exist um because i mean i bet there are a lot of people that form friendships with people that are either their same gender or if they're, you know, homosexual, they form friendships with someone of the opposite gender. And the fact that that's not what their orientation is ruins the chance they have at love with that person. Um, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they should just go for it even though that's not what they're into. They shouldn't because that's the whole point of sexual orientation. Um, but that's what kind of makes it sad in my opinion is that you know, as human beings, that's just the way we're, we're wired. The very fact that homosexuality exists is because that's how we're wired. We're wired to find specific things that we're attracted to. And sometimes people are born in a way where they're, it's, it's different. But <clears throat> it would, I, I, no, not you. I don't want to play with you. Fine, I just wanted to play with you. I did not agree to this threesome. Ow. Alright, we're good. Um, what's with all the dung? I love how this whole discussion came from me trying to come up with jokes for the fucking item I had. <laughs> Uh, 
I wonder if you do more damage. I'll have to test that out. If you do more damage with a backstab when you've double-handed it. I'll have to go back to over my footage and check where um, uh, I did a backstab on him earlier and see how much damage I did. But anyway, um, yeah, that, that's how I think it would be in a perfect world. It's not how we're wired, and, you know, we there, there's no way we can override that. Um, I don't think it... I don't think it's realistic to think that if you had a bond with someone deep enough, it would change your orientation or anything. That's just not the way we're built. But it is unfortunate. You know, because that... I imagine it would be... Life would be better that way. But because of that, as I was saying, that we we have things we find attractive. A straight guy finds feminine traits attractive. That's just how we're built. Um, now you can fuck off. Uh, I remembered how annoying these guys were. Um, so when someone comes out as transgender, you know, e even when they go through all the hormone thingy majiggers, they, a lot of them still have very masculine traits. And that's where I get annoyed because as someone who is attracted to feminine traits, I would go as far as to say I'm not even exactly attracted to women. I'm attracted to feminine traits, if that makes sense. Um, and as someone who's attracted to that, I see, you know, certain transgender people that I'm sorry, still look very extremely masculine and I'm supposed to override that and pretend I'm attracted to them, and I'm not. And I think where a lot of people get mistaken is they think I'm saying that I'm not attracted to them because they're transgender, and that's not the case. I'm not attracted to them because I'm not attracted to masculine traits. I never have been. Um. Oh dear. I'm toxified. Do I have anything to heal toxifying? Will that heal toxic? No, it will not. I need to find a bonfire. I seem to recall there's one nearby. Fuck. There's one around this corner, isn't there? I know there's one nearby. I fucking know it. Only got six Estuses left to get me through this. Air. Uh. Can I drop down there? I don't think so. Let me throw a fireball down there and look. No, that looks like it's a slider. Anyway. Um, and I have seen uh, transgender people I think are attractive. Uh, can you... Please not. I'm coming for you! Buddy pal! Friend of mine! No. No doggo. Me no want the doggo. Oh, flame doggo. I didn't know there were flame doggos. There's a transgender porn star. Uh, Serena Valentina. She's fucking hot. And I'm fucking dead. So, I don't know. 
I think that I think that uh, what happens is a lot of people get caught up in um, the uh, things they're fighting for that they end up coming full circle and doing the same things they're claiming to fight for. Like, you know, you got feminists that are fighting against, you know, sexism and everything. And then they turn right around and try to force it on women that they should cover themselves up. It's like, are we in the 20s again? I I don't remember getting into a DeLorean. Um, and then, like I said, you got people that don't want that uh, want you to accept that gender is fluid and all that stuff. Um, and that people shouldn't be reduced to that and people shouldn't be seen only as that. But then they turn right around and want you to see them as only that. So I don't I don't see it as that. I see physical attributes. I see things I'm attracted to. And yeah, if I'm being 100 percent honest, there are guys out there I would fuck. I don't know if this is, like, me coming out of the fucking closet or some shit. Uh, I'd do Ryan Reynolds. Hell yeah. Matthew McConaughey. Alright, let's see here. I don't, I really don't want to go to Blighttown anymore. I don't, I don't want to be here. Come on, buddy. Eric! Ericky Dirky! Part of me wonders if David would be bothered by the stuff I'm saying right now. But if I know him as well as I think I do, his only response is going to be, what about me? <laughs> oh, God. If I could just find the uh, bonfire down here, I'd have a foothold in and I'd be good. Okay, last time I did like 240-something, so maybe it does a little bit more, but really not by much. I feel kind of bad because I said I wanted to do something I don't usually do. Okay, I should go back to shields. When I'm up against a guy where I don't... Well, the guy that's got a white heart. I guess uh, at the end of the day, uh, people could turn it around on me and say that by saying that I only care, they could say I'm only caring about physical attributes is what I guess they could say. And that's not the case. Um, this is ignoring the concept of love. You know, when you're talking about stuff like this, you ignore the concept of love because love changes things. Um, but... You know, when you're speaking purely on physical attractiveness, I think it's mentally fucking retarded to uh, claim you want to talk about physical attractiveness, but then turn around and try to bring social issues into it. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't get me wrong. I get it. I get that um, it can be unfortunate to be found unattractive as a woman because you were born a man. I, I, I get that. Um... But I don't think it's a big deal because uh, there's probably plenty of guys out there that are attracted to uh, manly looking women. You know? I mean, and when I say manly, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what I mean. <laughs> but, uh... Is that... Should I kill him? Is he going to do stuff to me if I get near him? I'm worried he's going to do stuff to me if I get near him. I'm not even sure what he is. Okay, 
Okay, I don't want to use up all my arrows. Now I gotta be really careful when I'm running into the guy with the darts. Cause he's the one that fucked everything up. There we go. It's a nice downward one. Crap, I'm in a place that's not the place I was before because I slid. Oops. Ah, oh, there we go. There is that bonfire. Not sure what these guys will do if I give them a chance to attack, but I don't want to give them that chance. Okay. So, over there was where I originally fell down before, right? Yeah, because there's the thing I dropped down that... Oh, I gotta be careful because I'm near that guy now, so he might do a shooty shoot. Keep my shield up at all times. Anyway, those enemies look like they'd be the kind that would, uh... Like, latch on to me or some shit. Way too many enemies that do that shit. Okay, instead of... See, because the reason I jumped down there is I want to... Ah! Something beep. Is I want to think that... um There's a bonfire up there. I want to think that past those guys is a bonfire. I really do. I want to imagine that I remember seeing one. Like, years ago. Recalling it from the abyss of time. That guy's not even there anymore. Is he like a one and done kind of enemy? I mean, given how badly he can fuck you up if he gets a hit in on you, I guess it would make sense that he's a one and done. Did... Did Doggo just run and die? I think Doggo just run and died. You gonna join your friend? Bye bye, Doggo. I feel like there's another guy up there that would shoot. I remember when I was up there, I, I saw another one hit me. Am I the only one that actually likes the uh, change they made for uh, Bloodborne when it came to your soul stain? I know it, some people might find it annoying, but I actually thought it was really cool how they made it so that your saint, your stain. Eh, oh, that was that was dangerous. Um, when they made it so that your stain would actually get picked up by an enemy. All right, before I do this, I should. Uh, uh. Fuck. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. I don't want toxic, I don't want toxic. Well, I was... At least these guys, like I said, seem to... Unless that other one fell and died somehow, and I didn't notice it. There we go. 
You know, because they keep dropping purple moss clump. But the purple moss doesn't do anything for toxic, so... So... Why would they even drop that? Okay. Oh, he's still alive. Why did I do that? He's fire. He's not going to be hurt by that. I'm gonna come back down to see if I can open this door. Wait, this ain't a door. This ain't a door. Yeah, damn it. I, uh, I may have sort of kind of just looked at my health at the last second. Uh, oops. My bad. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and... How many... Yeah, I got plenty of humanities. Let's go ahead and kindle this up to 15. Since I think I'm going to need it. Get rid of the curse for now. I wouldn't happen to have a thing that could reduce some um, toxic buildup, can I? Other than two items, it looks like two items that I can worry about getting later, I guess. It looks like there's really not much of anything. I could have sworn there was a bonfire there, but it could be another little uh, area like that. I know it may seem a little weird to anyone who like just happened to stumble across this video because I because I can imagine this video actually doing kind of good um, because for some reason there seems to be a demand for Dark Souls videos even like like there's tons of people that are like very knowledgeable in the series and do that but there seems to always be a demand for like just new playthroughs of it and shit. Um, so I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine someone stumbling onto this video and thinking that, like, I, all the real talk just came out of nowhere. That's just how I've been lately. I've, like, 
I'm finding that I care less and less about certain things, and one of them is whether or not I am saying things that I should be saying. <laughs> You know what? <clears throat> I shouldn't have to deal with those guys once I drop down that thing, so I'm not going to bother. And anyone who's actually watched this on my channel, or whatever this half existence of a channel is right now, um, <clears throat> will know that I'm pretty prone to going off on the most random tangents for the most random reasons. And it ends up lasting like the entire fucking video. Discussing things that like makes no sense because of like one little thing sent me in that direction. And I'd like to think that's part of my charm. <laughs> David, correct me if I'm wrong. Is that part of my charm? <laughs> that you, you just never know what you got to get. Hmm. <clears throat> Now, don't you knock me off, Mr. Man. Crap. You go up the other one. I said I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's a slide. So, unless there's like a... It is easy to miss the ladders, unfortunately. I don't think I need to climb to that and jump from it or anything like that. Yeah, it looks like so the, uh, Spitty guys are definitely a one and done enemy, which is good to know. So I guess I can go ahead and explore that. Because <clears throat> I've already destroyed all of them. Wait till I. Is he not coming? Well, the camera yanked for a second there, and I thought it was going to take me away. That would have been bad. Why are you hopping? Stop hopping. <clears throat> that was definitely a good choice to make those guys um, a one and done enemy. That's definitely a good design choice because uh, the first time you get hit by one of those, you think, oh shit, where the fuck is it? Because that, uh, I think they probably designed that on purpose that it's probably unlikely that you'd have something to help with uh, Toxic at this point. So once you get hit with that, you feel kind of hopeless. Um, and it's like a shitty feeling to get hit with that. But it's a shitty feeling in a good way. It draws you into the world. Because you know you're, you're, you feel out of place. You know you're um, fish out of water here. But it... Uh, if you had to deal with them more, that feeling would have, ooh, that feeling would have eventually turned to frustration. Like, the first time you come through this area and I had to deal with those, it was an oh shit feeling. But each subsequent time, I would have just been annoyed. So that was definitely the right choice to have. Ah, fuck. I bought a repair box so I can fucking find a bonfire. Wait, how am I even supposed to get out of here now? Because I dropped down to get here.
Am I supposed to bone it? Wait. No, I can't. That's too far away to drop onto that. <clears throat> I actually don't know. I mean, maybe this is a place. Yeah, maybe this is somewhere you have to. But no, usually when there's a place where you're going to have to bone it, um, they put a bone for you to find. Uh, in case you don't got one. Wait. Ah, I didn't see this. Uh, let's, uh, drop on him, shall we? Ah, fuck. I was wondering why I wasn't doing much damage, but I just realized my weapon is risky. -dee. Oh, this just leads back to fucking there. So I never even had to make that fucking jump all those times. No, no. Kid, you, kid, you get off me. Alright, so that's a way to get back up, I'm assuming. Oh, and that's a way to go down. <clears throat> I think I know how to get to where I want to go. There's a doggo on it! Do you guys see the doggo? There we go. Oh, those are the ones that fell before. Okay. I gotcha. Well, now I'm a little upset because I've missed the bonfire. I know there's one up there and I've missed it. And I don't know if there's another one all along the way anywhere. <clears throat> Ah, oh, fuck. This is Poisonator. Forgot about that part. Oh, fucking Mildred. Great. Well, Mildred, let's play a game. Can I kill you before my weapon breaks? That's the name of the game. How are you not poisoned? <clears throat> oh, I love how little damage I'm doing. Phenomenal. Hi, my Mildred. Hey, can you go away so I can see what I got? Oh, great. Put your knife. Exactly what I wanted! 
I mean, of all the of all of her equipment, the knife is like the least thing I wanted. Maybe her bra or something. Can I can I get Mildred's bra? <laughs> Oh god. Now I believe unlike what those guys were hitting me with, this is just regular poison. So I should I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use one just to find out. Yeah, okay. So we're good there. Okay, I was just thought I saw an item. Problem is, I know the boss battle's up there. And that's with the spider lady. And then, fuck, you go down from there, and that's gonna take you to that fiery level, which will then lead to that fire boss, which is all fine and everything, but I don't think I'm physically prepared for that shit yet. I'm just looking for a bonfire, is what I'm looking for. Hey, Pasa. Oh. oh, he throws stuff. Great. Not really. Not really in the market to deal with you right now there, buddy. You're guarding a boss I have no interest in right now. I see a guy, but I also see an item. Uh, uh, and then, uh, and then, grab, don't fucking want, and then, uh, uh, irk, irky dirky, irkity dirkity. Alright, that worked out. I use my bow against these little things. I'm gonna waste hits with my sword when I don't have to. Nice. I got supply romance. It's about damn time I found one. I don't know if I even finished my thought from earlier, but I was saying that I know that I said I was going to do something unique with this, and I always um, play swordsman in these games. And I was going to do something I don't normally do, so I picked the Pyromancer, and then a fucking proceed to barely ever use the pyromancy, but that's because I don't find any. <clears throat> I know I could heal the poison, but it drains so slowly, I was just going to keep an eye on my health, not bother with it.
It's a good thing standing in it doesn't give you, like, a double poison or something. What the fuck are you doing? Actually, this would be... Let me go get him killed. Ow. This would be a good time to try out that ring I found. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna use that for a while. <laughs> now, I want to be careful because I seem to recall there's a place where there's like a nest of these things. I could be thinking of um, uh, demon souls. But I seem to recall if you walk under it, like a bunch of them fall down on you. Isn't that, like, literally what I started with, though? As a pyromancer, that's what I started with, right? Ho, oh, ho, ho. Now this, I like. I don't much care for the... I don't really feel like looking like the Grand Wizard here. <laughs> if you know what I mean by that. I wish there you could change. I always wish you could change colors of uh, equipments. Hmm. I don't much like the bottom half. <laughs> I look sexy. <laughs> That works. For now. To figure out something else. Okay, now. Ooh. 
Where'd you come from, buddy? Server, 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 server. What's a server? Another great sword. Yeah, that curved at the beginning of it doesn't change the fact that it's a great sword. That's another thing that pisses me off about the big swords is I love the design of a lot of them. I just wish they weren't oversized bullshit. I don't, I don't enjoy swinging around a big sword. I've tried it. I want to make one thing clear uh, when it comes to my statements about stuff like that is don't tell me, oh, don't knock it till you try it. I've tried it. I've tried uh, playthroughs of uh, Demon Souls with big weapons, and uh, I, I just didn't enjoy it. I just don't enjoy swinging around super large swords. I like being quick. Quick and nimble. Quick and nimble. That's the name of the game, Quick and Nimble. And I also should probably stop the episode right now. So we'll go up the tree in the next episode and see what awaits us at the top. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.